Hello, everyone. Welcome. You know, they say laughter is the best medicine, and we have your daily dose right here today. And we're going to give it up for our special co host, funny man Bill Ingball, is back in the house. Yeah. You, you, had us, you had us going pretty good. I felt bad for you because you were going through kidney stones last go around. Yeah, I gotta tell you, the stones weren't as bad as the humility that I had to go through. Because <laughs> A, they, uh, I had a catheter, which I talked to, but yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Uh, so I go to my, I get this kidney stone, and I go to my urologist and he says, yeah, you got a kidney stone. I said, so just, I just pass it? And he goes, normally. He said, but Bill, he said, you have a very small urethra. Uh-oh. I mean, how do you even respond to that? <laughs> well, the urethra is the tube that carries the urine from the bladder out. So is it just like the opening hole that's really... Uh, again, I really didn't go... <laughs> Dr. B, you're not helping here. You're supposed to say the urethra has nothing to do it, with the... Well, it does, it, it it does not have anything it, it does to do not have the male with the penis size, right? No, it doesn't, unless it's a really small penis. Oh, there you are. <laughs> You're just not going to give it up, are you, hey, Bill? Who likes who likes candy? <laughs> now, the worst part was the, the, when uh, they, they were trying to get the stone wouldn't pass, so they put me under to do that procedure where they go in and try to get it. So I come out and he, I, I said, "Did you get the stone?" And he said, "I have never had this happen before." He said, and I'm thinking, "Oh my God, you lost your wedding." You don't have your doctor you know. saying that. <laughs> The doctor never says, happened. No. never happened before. No. Never happened to so me. He said, he said, we, he said, he said, Bill, your urethra is so small, we couldn't get the laser up there to blast a stone. Oh, wow. Then he says, is this hereditary? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me call my granddad and me, see. Me and Pops never had that chat. You know? <laughs> oh. I mean, how, 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 how would it even go? It's just like, oh, boy, you're 21 now. Yeah. Now you learn about the Ingvall family curse. At home, I'm curious, because you're a comedian, obviously very funny. Are you a jokester with your wife, or has that so... That's, that, that was early on. My sense of humor is not what she finds fun. I mean, she, I, I, when I'm being Bill, just the husband, then it's fine. But if I'm, like, trying to do the comedian thing, she's like, stop. <laughs> You know. <laughs> but uh, the thing they always get, the, the, when they were kids were young, and they, well, you have to do interviews all the time. So every morning you're doing interviews on the phone, the kids would hear me. And so then I'd finish the interviews, and I'd, hear, I'd walk into the breakfast table, and I'd do this, hey, it's Bill Ingvall, why don't you come on over to the show? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bill the character, yeah, yeah. you mean? Speaking of your wife, she's been going through some changes, she's, I understand. She's uh, going through the change. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, uh, Sounds like As things a, are fun at yeah, home. Oh, <laughs> it, yeah, I, and we did, then we decided to build a house in the middle of menopause. Uh -oh. I don't, yeah, I know, I know, right? You're thinking, he didn't look that stupid when he walked out, but... Uh, yeah, and if, if you're a guy and you're getting ready to go, let me just tell you right now, uh, it's a real thing, man. It's like, uh, I look... And I start there out by just looking at... Look at, at your the, lovely bride. She is right there, yeah. That's how he got nice. lots of beer. <laughs> That's good for menopause, yeah, I think. Yeah, you but give you hot uh, flashes, though. Yeah, it's, it, but it's weird, because if you look at the word menopause, it has the words men and pause. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Which I have discovered means if you're a man, you better pause before you say something. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> The thing that was weird to me was, I mean, the American Medical Association, just, I was reading about it, because I figured if we're going to go through it, I better know what's going on. And they define one of the symptoms of menopause as irritability, which I think that's not quite strong enough. <laughs> Yeah, but you know yeah. what? It's good to, that you're talking about it with humor because it affects the men too. Oh, it I'm isn't... telling you, it's uh, it's there's days that you know, I don't I don't know. What you're coming out <laughs> to? Because it's like stuff like like we don't argue, and this goes back to the men and pause thing. It's like I was sitting in the den, we were trying to get our Christmas cards out. We don't get them out by Christmas; they go out like June. <laughs> and so I'm, she said, "Would you help me put stamps on the envelopes?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." So I'm putting stamps on the envelopes. All of a sudden, I hear Bill. You're putting the stamps on crooked. <laughs> and I made the mistake of saying, oh my God, the mailman won't send them now. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not smart. Oh. Not smart. <laughs>